life before you I was a flame burning down What's up everyone? Matt here, Home Farm Ideas and today I'm just doing a follow up on my uh, on my um, garlic so my rocambo garlic I wanted to show you guys the process basically how it's come along so far and I also wanted to show you my goldfish. These are the guys that feed the garlic that are gonna feed us. So let me get a video feeding them a little bit. I do about one cap full. It's not like an exact measurement, but as you can see, they are like, what's up? <laughs> There's Bandit. And we're smoky, yeah, they're smoky. <laughs> Who knew, huh? Fish waste can feed plants. With the right nutrients and all that stuff, you can have a pretty cool aquaponic system. So let me show you the garlic and see uh, where it's at and, and all that. Not the garlic, this is actually mosquito fern. And that is frog bit. I need to clean some of that out. <laughs> it's growing like crazy. I actually sell this on my um, well, I was selling it on eBay, now I just do direct sales, so, but it looks great in fish tanks, that's why I sell it, so, and I can grow it out here easily, so let's go ahead and go have a look at the garlic way down there. Alright, one of the good things about these root pouches is obviously you can pull them out of the grow bed, so, um, if you watch my last video, you'll see that I put them inside my aquaponic grow bed, so these are grown aquaponically. Um, so, uh, this is actually cocoa core, and so there's no real nutrients in it, in it other than the water from my system. Um, you do have to watch for deficiencies in your plants, and I'll talk a little bit about that in this video. Um, but I just wanted to point out that these root pouches are awesome because I can just remove them from my whole system and lay them out and uh, be good for, you know, video footage and stuff like that. So. There's cocoa core in there, like I said. All the nutrients comes from the water. And as you can see, this is three weeks later. And this is my garlic, my Rocambo garlic. This is sprouted and it's looking pretty good. I am noticing a little bit of a deficiency um, that you guys probably can't see, but I'm gonna try to bring us in closer so that you guys can see this. But as you can notice, all of them sprouted. Um, I only planned on having three garlics per bag uh, for the Rocambo. And um, I planted the extra one thinking, um, well, maybe it'll have room. So we'll see. So, but yeah, this is just three weeks later and they are already um, probably about uh, seven inches tall, eight inches tall. So let's go in for a closer look so I can show you uh, the deficiency I might see. There's another issue as well. Um, I think the water level in my grow bed may be a little too high, so we may, uh, be getting uh, signs from basically because uh, there's a little bit what I'm noticing is is there's a little bit of yellowing in the leaves and um, that could be just from too much water um, and I think it is too much water as well because the top of this is pretty pretty moist a um, little too moist for my liking so um, so I'm gonna look at that and I'm gonna show you guys basically how I would change that in my grow bed um, to set the water level at a lower level and test it basically. I've, I've never grown garlic this way before, so this is all new for me. Um, but so I could be getting too much water, which would cause the yellowing in the leaves and uh, root rot eventually. Um, and then there's the other thing is uh, I could be having uh, either a nitrogen deficiency or um, my iron levels could be low. I think it's a mixture between not enough or too much water and my iron levels are low. Um, and I'm right at my third week. I usually top off my iron levels every three weeks. So, um, so I think I'm getting an iron deficiency due to the frog bit you saw in the last part of this video. Uh, that stuff eats up nitri uh, um, iron like crazy and nitrogen and all that stuff. So I don't think I'm having a nitrogen issue. I think I'm having an iron issue and too much water. Um, so let's go ahead and look at the leaves a little closer. Okay, so let me get my hand behind this so it'll focus. Okay, you see, 
you see the little bit of yellowing in the leaves like right there in particular see that okay that like I said that could be an iron deficiency a nitrogen deficiency or it could be too much water or too little water um, I think what's going on like I said is an iron problem uh, because I know my iron levels are running low because I have an iron checker <laughs> Hannah Instruments hooked me up with that. And um, and then I'm having, I think this is too much water. So um, I'm gonna put this back in the grow bed and then um, I'm gonna show you basically how I'm going to adjust the water level. And, um, and then I think I have two more days to where I top off my iron, uh, which is why I think it's the iron running low because I have to top off the iron every three weeks. Um, and then I'm going to take out a bunch of that frog bit and feed it to my worm towers. Um, but yeah, that's what I think this is. So um, hopefully that'll fix the problem so that by the next video you guys will see nice and green leaves. And uh, this garlic will be well on its way to becoming a full-fledged item in the kitchen. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put this back in the grow beds. And I'll show you how I'm going to adjust the level. And I want to show you the other bags I planted out. All right, let's get this bag, uh, garlic bag, back in here. That's as easy as it gets. <laughs> um, so that's it, back in my grow bed. And um, I wanted to show you guys basically the water level in here is pretty deep. It's probably, um, I'm, I'm not going to put my finger down in there right now, but it's probably about, it looks to me like be about an inch and a half. And so I want to bring that way down. I want to bring that to maybe uh, uh, maybe half an inch, a uh, little more, and um, watch it over the next few days, and you know, kind of dig my finger down into the cocoa core and see if I'm, you know, if if it's still wet about an inch down. So, or not wet, but just moist. Okay. So I'm going to show you the rest of the garlics as well. All right, that's bag one that I already showed you. Here's the other bag. And then here is the other bag. And as you can see, the water inlet, this is the water inlet here, comes down, fills up this bed. I do have some algae growth sometimes, but then I also have that snail. And he just roams around eating, you know, the uh, algae. So, and uh, yeah. So let's check out the drain. All right, this is my drain. It's on the other side of the grow bed here. Those are the bags that I just showed you. And um, down inside of here, that's the actual uh, drain where it drains to the sump. And then there's a there's a uh, basically an attachment down there. So let me take that out because that's going to basically lower it to where I, I think I want it. Oh great, it's slimy. Not to say that I don't I don't care about touching slimy, but what I do care about is that it's hard to unscrew. Alright, so now there we go. So now this thing's gonna drain a lot more. Okay. Whoa, that thing did have a lot of algae on it. So basically the water level is from there to there. Okay, so that's gonna be removing that much. Um, I may need to actually uh, adjust this. I may to actually need to cut this um, maybe right there or something. Um, but we'll see. Now you can see, I mean, the water is just flowing towards this drain. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to see if that's going to be enough because there's still going to be about a half inch of water in here. Okay. So I want to see if that's going to be enough to um, water these plants. So yeah. That's just, that's pretty easy. <laughs> um, I am gonna add iron, like I said. Every three weeks I add iron. And I add probably about 32 grams to my 450, 400 and 450 gallon system. So, um, and that seems to be the sweet spot for me, so. But anyways, like always you guys, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And, um, if you like it and you want to see more of my videos, subscribe and check out all the videos I've already made. I made like 400 and 
80 something videos so uh, pretty crazy so I got more coming so anyway God bless you guys and like always yep peace